want to thank you all for being on the call today, as always. This young man hails in Houston, Texas, been on board with me for ooh, many, many, a few years. He's also a great family man. He's got held two degrees and decided one day he was sitting at his computer at his home, working from his home. He got up to go to the restroom, Mr. Anthony Dash. Listen to this. He, he went to the restroom. His mm -hmm. boss called him and said, where are you at? Why did they catch him? He went to the restroom and they, he said, why are you calling me about this? He says, your keyboards were not moving. Do you realize they're guarding their keyboards? Listen to me. The keyboards, Miss Tammy Williams, Miss Sherry, the keyboards was not moving on his computer. So they're watching you from the distance, Mr. Bill Bailey, Mr. Ismail. The, his keyboards was not moving. And, and, and they call, where you at? What you doing? And Miss Newsom, he said, I went to the bathroom. Give me a break. And he said, at that moment, Miss Jones, it put him past the, past the Thomas. He went absolutely mad out of his mind, Mr. Jason. He said, I got to make this work. And matter of fact, he made a vow not to sleep in his bed till he got it wrapped up. And I'm here to tell you, this man is always out there at the malls. You know what I'm talking about. Rain, sleek, snow, snow, dog bites. He's always in the mall. Without further ado, the one and only, the great Mr. Sam Foster. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being on the call. I know once again, like I always say, you guys could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here on this lovely Friday, on this future Friday, okay? Thank you, Mr. Debris Clemens, for everything that you do, everything that you've done. Uh, we couldn't do this, of course, without you, so thank you. Thank you for all the leaders on the call, all the SVPs, all the RVPs, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I want to go ahead and get started because I don't want to waste time and I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. So here we go. All right. First of all, I want to uh, title this, if you're taking notes, I want to title this Back to the Future. Yes, 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 yes. Back to the Future. Uh, many years ago, back in the early 80s, um, an actor by the name of Michael J. Fox did a movie called Back to the Future. And um, I guess you have to be about 40 and over to understand what it was, but it was it was created back in 1985. And um, yes, I am wearing what we call the bubble vest uh, that Michael J. Fox wore in the movie. They were real popular. And Michael J. Fox, he started out being a sitcom actor in this movie, probably without a shadow of a doubt, put him on the map. I mean, really, really put him on the map. I mean, took his, took his career to heights that have never been seen a lot of times with an actor. Uh, I think right now, these days, he has uh, Parkinson's disease. Uh, he's doing well, has a real nice family support, has his wife behind him and everything. And uh, he's do done some acting here and there, but in the later years, he's kind of slowed down a little bit, but uh, he's doing well. The man is still relatively sharp, so he's doing well. I wanted to uh, use the title Back to the Future because Oftentimes, as IBOs, we have a hard time with uh, seeing where we're trying to go with this business and ACN, and we kind of get stuck and things of that nature. So I wanted to, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back, go back, go back, go back to the future. So what I want to do is I'm going to let Mr. Clemens play a short clip, then I'll be back to share my message. Well, yeah. Horrible nightmare. Dream that I went back in time. Well, safe and sound now, back in good old 1955. 1955? Oh, my God. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Hey, McFly! This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. You're my mom. You're my mom. Mom! Wait, what do you want, chicken watch? Marty, we're sending you back to the future. Wow, 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 wow. 
that's one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite, favorite movies. And I know some of you are on this call thinking, where is he going with this, this jacket thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is Sam going with this? I, I'm still confused. I got you. I got you. And like I always say, I got you. I got you. I'm going somewhere with it. There's always a method to my madness. Okay. The reason why I want to use the theme back to the future, because sometimes as IBOs, we tend to get stuck. We tend to get stagnant. We tend to stop. We tend to think that this may not be for us, things of that nature. And I want you guys to understand something. In order to really go forward, you have to really trace your steps backwards. In other words, I want to ask a question to someone. Maybe not to everybody, but to somebody. I want to ask the question, what happened to your why? And in order to understand that, you may want to go back, go back a little bit and ask yourself, why did I start doing ACN in the first place? And I get it for some people, it may be the money, I get all of that. But even before the money comes, it has to be some definitive that lays a brick for the foundation, not just the money, because at some point, it's going to have all this other stuff involved before the money even comes. But what does he mean? Yeah, you're going to have some days when you're not going to feel like doing it. So it can't just be the money. You're going to have some days when uh, you're going to have to be a real leader. And a real leader has to get past the money and how they feel and things of that nature. Because remember now, you're building a future. So in other words, you need to go back in order to go forward. Well, well, I still don't get it. I get it. I get it. But I want you guys to pay attention to two things. Two reasons why everybody on this call is a leader. Two reasons why everybody on this call is a leader. Yeah, Sam, I just got in a couple of days ago. I just got in a week ago. How am I a leader? First of all, you're a leader by two reasons. The first is you're on this call. So if you're on this call, you are a leader. That's number one. Number two, you're a leader because losers don't like. Look back on where you come from. Losers don't last, but you did. So you are a leader if you're on this call. You could have been anywhere. You could have made an excuse. You could have said this is not for you, but you're on this call. And many people are on this call all the time. That makes you a leader, period. Leaders are consistent. So that makes you a leader no matter what. It's not what somebody says about you remember it's what you say about yourself okay with that going forward i want to bring a prop to the table i'm gonna bring in anybody know what this is put it in the chat and for my my, my newbies out there we conveniently call it a slingshot slingshot yeah yeah just an ordinary slingshot but why does he have a slingshot in his hand? I'm getting to that. Just like I got this bubble vest on, I got this slingshot in my hand. Okay? I want you guys to imagine, if you can go with me for a second. I want everybody to close their eyes. Yeah, I know. I know a few people winking and then barely put it. Everybody close their eyes for a second. Because I want you to go back. I want you to go back to the future. If everybody, except for the ones that are driving, if you're driving, do not close your eyes. Misnomer, do not close your eyes. But if you're not driving, close your eyes for a second. And I want you to imagine yourself with a slingshot in your hand. And I know, every, I know everybody, everyone didn't have a slingshot, but imagine you with a slingshot in your hand. And I want you to imagine pulling that slingshot back. And the, the further you pull that slingshot back, the more you're getting resistance, the more it's getting ready to pull against you, but you're still pulling it back. You're still pulling it back. And yes, some of us have to pull it all the way back. And sometimes we sit down and we think, we say, well, okay, I don't know if I could do this anymore because it hurts. I don't know if I could do this anymore because I, I, I'm not as strong as everybody else, but you are strong. You're stronger than you think you are. So as you're pulling that slingshot back, I want everybody to keep focused. Everybody stay focused. When you pull that slingshot back, if you're hitting a target now, you have to stay focused. 
And as you stay focused, yeah, it'll still hurt as you pull it back, ladies and gentlemen, but you want to hit a sure target. You want to hit a sure target. Well, what's my sure target, Sam? Your sure target is your big why. Why did I get started? I started to, to, to hopefully have an organization, to hopefully have a massive organization, but I don't know if I can do it. Well, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, most people have that same perception, but they still keep going. That's the level of consistency. That's the level of consistency. We used to use the word, the phrase, no pain, no gain. Whenever it starts to get tough, keep focused, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling back, keep going back. Remember your why, remember your why, remember your why. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And as you guys keep pulling, and as the resistance stays intact, and as you can feel yourself, your, your bones are aching, your mind is weary, your heart may be aching, they, they, they say, I can't do it. Uh, I've always been the black sheep of my family and things of that nature. Keep going, keep going. Why does he say keep going? I'm saying focus and keep going, ladies and gentlemen, because the way that you focus and keep going is the way that you're going to be throughout this business. Why? Two things are added up when you're focused and you keep going. Consistency and attitude. That's all you need. Consistency and attitude. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, open your eyes. Now, as you guys open your eyes, I want you to still in your mind, think about hitting that target. Think about hitting that target. That's right. Think about hitting that target. Yeah, yeah, I know some, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you know, life gets in the way and somebody may hit your hand and go this way, try to hit your hand and go that way, but I want you to stay focused. I want you to stay angry. I want you to stay consistent on that target, on that target, on that target. Why is he saying that? Because eventually, as you stay focused on that target, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get your customers, you're gonna get your reps by staying focused. You're gonna, you, you're gonna get other IBOs by staying focused. You're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go to Q, uh, 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 you're gonna go to CQ by staying focused. That's right, that's right. You're gonna go to CQ. Then we're gonna go, we're gonna go to ETL. Why? Because we staying focused. Yeah, yeah, it might do this one thing, it might do this one, but you're gonna stay focused. You're gonna stay focused on the target. Focus on the target. Okay, some people get to ETL. Stay focused, stay focused, right? We're going to RD, 600 points. We're going to RD, we're going to stay focused. We're going to stay focused. Then after we go to RD, we're going to RVP. We're going to RVP, we're going to stay focused, we're going to stay focused. Then our ultimate goal, <laughs> senior vice president, ladies and gentlemen. That's you, that's you, Single senior vice president. Well, that's what they say, no, no, that's what we know. Why is that? Because somebody on this call is a senior vice president. Somebody on this call is a regional vice president. And if they can be in my shoes, they would say the same thing. They got there because they were focused. They were laser focused. Did life happen? Absolutely. Life happens to everybody. But remember what I said, whether they went right or whether they went left, they stayed center. They stayed center. They stayed focused focused on the task. So even though they had to go back sometimes, they always kept their prize in sight. Why? Because when they finally let go, <laughs> RVP, SVP, customers, bonus points, things of that nature. Somebody on this call, ladies and gentlemen, is a RVP. Somebody on this call is a SVP. That means somebody at some point got hundreds of thousands of IBOs and customers because they stayed focused. Even though they went back, they always stayed focused in order to go forward into their future and into their destiny. I want that to sink in for a minute, ladies and gentlemen, because that's important. Because somebody's at a pivotal point in ACN, whether you chest starting, or whether you've been in a while and things are shaky. I get it, things are shaky. Sometimes you don't feel like talking to people. Sometimes you think people don't believe in you, I get it. But it's not what they believe, it's what you believe. Believe in yourself and that's all that matters. Wanna go a little bit far. Don't wanna waste your time, wanna go a little bit far. Anything that you do is gonna require some action involved. It's gonna require you to open your mouth at some point. Talk to somebody. I don't care where you're going, just talk. Just open your mouth. Hey, how you doing? A simple speak. 
that breaks the ice. Doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be elaborate, just the little steps that keep you going forward. Okay, I'm glad you got that. Okay, the power of rerouting your generation. You're gonna have to pay attention to three, three L's in order to reroute your generation. What does he mean? Well, most of us, if we can admit it, we didn't come here with a silver spoon in our mouth. Everything wasn't fixed. Most of us on this call, I don't care if we, we reached SVP level or if we just coming in as a, a, a Q, uh, customer qualified. We all came in pretty much first generation trying to get our own. So if that's the case, stay focused on it. Stay focused on that. Pay attention to the three L's, ladies and gentlemen. Just the three L's. That's all I want you to really pay attention to. What are the three L's? I got you covered. The three L's is your lineage that you're leaving behind, your lineage, your lack of belief, and your love for the future. Your lineage, pay attention to that, what's coming in your bloodline, your lack of belief, where did you stop believing, right? and your love for the future. Why? Because if you look back at your lineage, we want to cut that. We want to create a different generational blessing instead of a generational curse. And most of us, if we're thinking, if we're thinking correctly, we can see where a lot of things went wrong in our bloodline. It may not have been our fault, but now we have the opportunity to rearrange this thing and make it better. We, get, we got technology in place with Zoom calls, we got everything in place that we need to make this happen, okay? We just need to stay focused on our future. Remember now, we need to stay focused. We need to stay laser focused on the target. Laser focused, okay? Keep your aim on the target. Focus on everything. It determines your consistency and your attitude. Attitude means everything. I see Mr. Thomas come on his call. I see Ms. Ms. Driscoll come on his call. They always have a, a, a real good attitude. And I know they're human. I know things happen in their life. But they never come on the call with a sucky attitude. They always come on the call energetic, smiling, happy, things of that nature. That is no wonder why they're consistent and why they're always productive. Always productive. Okay. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to realize it's possible. This, this whole thing about being a senior vice president, it's possible. You just have to ask yourself, what am I doing to make sure that I get to that space and place? But I can tell you guys, sometimes we have to sit back and think about what we really want, what we really want for our team. If I had 100 people on my team, how would I respond? Well, it should be the same way if you had one person on your team, supportive. Continue to support your people. If you chess on here for the first time and you have chess you, Continue to support yourself. Encourage yourself. Remember what I said. It's not what other people say about you. It's what you say about yourself. It's your reflection of who you are as a person. Continue to be consistent as far as you're concerned. And everything else takes care of, it, of itself. Because remember, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Now, with that said, I saw a quote the other day. And I said, this is very interesting. And I wanted to know, I said, wow, this is profound. And the quote said this, the people booing are not on the field. They bought tickets to watch. Let me repeat that again, ladies and gentlemen. The people that are booing you, they're not on the field. They bought tickets to watch. So if they bought tickets to watch, why don't you do them a favor and give them something to shut up about? Let me say that again. Give them something to shut up about. What do you mean? If you give them something to shut up about, they won't have much to say in the way of being negative. Now, only way you do that is you stay focused, you stay focused, and you stay focused. But what do you mean by that? First of all, ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand something. In order for you to stay focused, you have to stay grounded. You have to stay humble. You, st you have to stay believing in yourself. And everything else takes care of itself. Doesn't matter whether you got a slingshot in your hand, 
of whether you got a rock and a rag. Your focus is your focus. Stay driven and stay focused. Now, in order for you to go back to the future, you have to ask yourself. Nobody can ask this question but you to you. Ask yourself, what am I not doing that's getting me where that's not getting me where I want to go? Sometimes you may have to reset yourself. Sometimes you may have to go back and listen to this message over and over again. Because I can guarantee you, whether you are RVP or SVP, they all had to come through the same lineage to get to where they were going. There's no shortcuts to this. We all have to go CQ and come up to SVP. In other words, they got the nose too. They got, they got the flag in it. Everybody was flagging them off like flies in their face. They don't want to hear it. They got the same thing. I was always told the RVP and the SVP was the one that got the most nose. So if that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, what's the problem? The notion be anything but turn around backwards to our own. To stay, to keep your focus. That's all. When you go back to the future, you'll find out what did I leave my why? Somebody left their why in the closet. Somebody need to go to the closet and get the why back out. Somebody need to go back and get their energy back renewed again. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we just need to stay consistent. Because if you stay consistent, you're going to have everything you want in ACN. You're going to go back to the future in order to determine your destination. Many of us have to go back to the future because we didn't have a good mentor. We might not have good leadership in our lives. And that's okay. That's why we have these trainings. That's why we have these meetings. That's why we have a Zoom call going on seven days a week to build your, build your confidence level up, to build your encouragement. We all have to go through it. And, and, and pat yourself on the back for the little things that you do right. Don't have to be the big things. You may get one point. Pat yourself on the back for it. You may get one IBO. They may be tricky, but you still got the IBO. You want to make sure that you focus on the things that you need to focus on in order to get where you're trying to go in ACN. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, we have to put ourselves in a position to where we say to ourselves, the best is yet to come. And if I stay in ACN and I do what I'm supposed to be doing, I always get where I'm trying to go. And I know people on this call may say, well, everybody's not the same. I get it. Everybody's not the same. Everybody's not meant to do the same numbers and things of that nature. But it doesn't matter. Run your race. And I can guarantee you, if you run your race and you're consistent like you're supposed to be, you're birth for RVP. You're birth for SVP. It's only a matter of time. Why? Because if one of us can do it, all of us are possible and we can do it. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for your time. I thank you for your attention on the call. I thank you, Mr. Thomas. I thank you, Mr. Clemens. I thank all the leaders on the call. I appreciate you guys for coming and sharing this uh, uh, time with us. And we'll see you next Friday. Thank you.